I've got a collective drugstore makeup haul to share with you guys today. Um, this past week I've been painting my whole house, <laughs> so that's where I've been. Anyway, I placed an order on Walgreens. I saw who po a Nouveau Cheap's blog posted about this stuff, and it's one of the Cinderella collections, like the uh, Disney ones that Walgreens, they're Walgreens exclusives, kind of like the, the Ur little Ursula palette I showed in uh, the Houston haul. And I was really excited to see that they were available online because the palette was just calling my name. And since I, I, I wanted to get free shipping, I ordered a couple other things in addition to the palette. This first item is a Dream Come True All-in-One Highlighter, Bronzer, and Blush. And this is what it looks like. A cute little clock. Like the packaging on this makes me think, how come... How come Matt couldn't have spiced up their Cinderella collection a little bit? But this is what it's called. There's 0.88 ounces of product in here, which is a ton of product. And I've been wearing this as a blush. I've worn this probably four times. The only thing about this is it's pressed really hard in the pan. So you're going to want to use something that, other than the brush that comes in there. Because the brush that comes in here is a really soft synthetic. So I grabbed one of my um, more stiff natural bristled brushes to pick this up because it is pressed hard but once I got it on the cheeks it was a really pretty rosy tan shade with some shimmer in there but the brush is super cute too it's got a little um slipper on there and it's really soft let's get a swatch of this you do have to be careful like um swatching this or rubbing like this brush on there too much because it's so soft you can create hard pan a little bit easy but there it is right there and then this next item is the palette. It's the Ready for the Ball eyeshadow palette. And I believe, I also seen on Nouveau Cheap's blog, these are starting to show up at Walgreens stores. Initially it had said on the Walgreens website that they were online exclusives, but um, people have been taking pictures of this setup inside Walgreens stores. So this was $14.99 and it's huge. It's a really big palette and I just think that this cover, this here is so beautiful to me. And I was really surprised at the size of it. There are, ooh, there's 46 grams of product in here with a total of, let's see here, 2, 4, 6, 7, times 5, 35 eyeshadows. And you get three sponge tip applicators that I just dropped on the floor. <laughs> I've worn this twice now and I did have to build and pack on some of the colors to get the some intensity out of them. And the looks came out quite soft. Um, but it's nice. It, for $14.99, it wasn't bad at all. Now, these shades right here, which is what I was a little disappoint disappointed in, um, they were super shiny when I first opened them up. And then once you swatch them underneath, there's like a satin, almost matte shade under a couple of them. So the, the shine shininess that you see isn't going to be true to the color that's underneath. They're like oversprays. But let me give you some swatches of these because they are some really pretty shades. I think that this palette performs... <laughs> A little bit better than the um, MAC version of it. Like that was pressed really too hard in the pan. But let me give you a couple more swatches here of these. So I mean they're not bad. But I did have to you know pack, pack on some of the colors. Because they are softer. But this packaging. <laughs> Then to qualify for free shipping, I added this to my order. This is the Disney Dare to Dream bronzer set. with It's the Pocahontas version, and it's called Spinning Arrow. And inside of there comes a bronzer. That's what the packaging looks like. And there's like a feather um, embossed in it right there. And the brush that comes with this doesn't have any special designs, but it's really bad. <laughs> it's not as nice as the Cinderella brush. It's like... It's just a really not good brush, so I'll probably, I'm probably going to throw this away, to be honest, because it's really not that great. However, this bronzer, I've worn this, of course, except today. <laughs> I've worn this, like, every day since I got it. As you can see, I've worn down quite a bit of the feather. There was something about this. It's really soft. It's really pigmented. But on my face, like, when I, I had bronzed up my face and then went over it and finished off my face with it, it just gave me a really nice warmth warm tan to my whole face. It was really pretty. I'm surprised by how much I've been enjoying this product, but it's a really pretty color. It's not too orange or anything. Then at Walmart, I did pick up the Revlon Color State Just Nudes palettes, which I did do a video on this already with swatches and my opinion and stuff on that. So I'll link it down below if you're interested in seeing that. But I did pick these guys up. And then I also purchased <laughs> the Star Wars The Force Awakens Limited Edition The Super Sizer Mascara. I really like the Super Sizer Mascara and I pretty much the other one that I first bought um, is used up. So I wanted to get another one and... <laughs> 
<laughs> funny story I I bought one of these it looked just like this and I had used it and, and when I had gotten out of the shower the day that I used this it was still all on my lashes and I could not get it off for nothing I'm like there's got this there's got to be a problem there's this isn't right I go and look at the packaging and it I had to look real closely it was the waterproof version that stuff stayed on my eyelashes for like three days I tried to get it off a couple different times and I was losing some eyelashes doing so so I was just like I'm just gonna have to wait for it to flake off or whatever but <laughs> anyway I got the the good one the one that I like which isn't the waterproof version and I really like this mascara it gives a nice amount of volume and length but I don't feel like it does too much of either just a, a nice mascara then at Target I picked up the Sonia Kashuk Grand Bazaar Exotic Crystal Illuminating Powder and this is from their holiday collection I, I saw like sparkles and stuff and was all over that <laughs> and it comes with a little puff in here let me puff it on the back of my hand here and see if you guys can see what it looks like but it's quite sparkly um, not a ton of pigment but something that you can use maybe on your decollete I have put it on the tops of my cheekbones a couple times and I like it uh, I think it'll be too sparkly for some but for me I'm all about it so this is what it looks like it's really pretty right there Another thing that I purchased off the Walgreens online site is a Noni Cream Color Prevails palette and this is one a newer one that I saw and it's called Social Butterfly and I've got the other three and they're nice I think that they're pretty decent I haven't worn this one yet but the colors are really pretty inside it does come with a little tiny brush in there but let me get up close and show you these right here the colors look really pretty these some swatches These three right here are, are quite pigmented. These ones here on top aren't, they're, they're not quite as pigmented as the dark shades on the bottom. A little bit softer those ones, but that is the Noni Cream Color Prevails Palette in Social Butterfly. Then when I was on the road and I stopped at Walgreens, I was able to find part of a limited edition Wet n Wild collection. I don't know if it was their Halloween one or what, but I picked up two lipsticks. This first one is called Blossom Out, and it's very peachy, orangey nude. Um, I actually tried to wear this today, and it wasn't vibing with my eye look or something, so I ended up taking it off. But I do really like the Wet n Wild formula like this and for the price you kind of can't beat it and then the other shade that I got is pink pyramid and this is what pink pyramid looks like right there so see how pigmented they are and I think these are like a dollar 99 or something I was also able to find one of two limited edition quints from that collection and this one is in shake your tail feather I have not used this yet but I love to collect in <laughs> wet and wild eyeshadows that's what this one looks like. Oh, they oh they feel very nice and soft. Bam! Oh, that is so pretty. This is the first time I even swatched these. So that one is Shake Your Tail Feather. That is so pretty. Then for the other palette that came in that same collection, it's called Sphinx Minx. I have to give a big shout out to Kat who also does YouTube videos. She picked this up for me because I couldn't find it. And that is what Sphinx Minx looks like. I'll link her channel down below, but big appreciation for you, Kat, for picking this up for me. I couldn't find it anywhere. I stopped at like three Walgreens. <laughs> they had the Shake Your Tail Feather at quite a few of them, but this one was sold out. Pretty. Those are so pretty. I also have to give a big shout out to my buddy at Hauling with Naya who does some really good hauls on YouTube. I'll link her channel down below. And then also Sarah because they picked me up the other Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes that I could not find anywhere. These first ones are from the Stay Wild collection and this is what they look like. They're really shiny, really, really glittery ones. This first one is called Bust a Wrap and I actually put this top shade right here on my lid yesterday and it was really pretty however it's chunky and it had fallout this formula is a little bit different um, some of them are a little bit different than the 
other formula like these two feel like traditional powders but this one's got more chunkiness to it because it's quite shiny so that one is bust of wrap and then this one is bohemian rhapsody and this one has got a chunky shade i believe it's that middle brown one is kind of the chunkier one oh this top one's a little chunky as well but they're meant to be like, they're almost like, some of them are almost like glitter sparkle shadows. Right there. So definitely I think you'd need a, a nice sticky primer with these. Then there is Rapper's Delight, which is like the gray smoky one. Oh, the top two feel, the top two feel smooth and the bottom one feels kind of chunky. And then the last one that Sarah picked up for me from the Stay Wild collection is Freestyle Wrap. And this is the purpley one. And this top one is really quite gritty. The middle one is gritty. And the bottom one is kind of gritty. So this one here feels like they're all more glittery, um, chunkier types of shadows. I didn't feel any smooth ones in this one. Yeah, that top one is really grit gritty. And then from the Fergie collection, this one is called After Midnight. Some super pretty sparkly shades in there. And my buddy Naya picked this one up for me. Super, super appreciative of that. So pretty. I think, you know, our, uh, Wet n Wild kind of did a bit of a hit and miss uh, about a year ago, but they're back on their, their, ga their A game, I think. I think they're some of the best shadows from the drugstore. And then this one is called In Full Bloom, and I did wear this one. These shades were really pretty on the eyelid. I mixed them with a couple other shadows, but this green, they got sparkle in it, and they're like really metallic, shiny shadows. I really enjoyed using this. Oh, let's get this one right there. They're really pretty lid shades. Oh, I think they're so pretty. That one is In Full Bloom from that same collection. These next four are also limited edition quints and this one is called Melrose Face. This is that good wet and wild eyeshadow formula. Right there. So that one's Melrose Face. Oh, living for it. <laughs> this one is Girls Just Want to Have Fun. So pretty. This one is called The Gallery Next Door and it's the purple one. I have worn this and it did create a pretty purple eye. I just feel like you can't beat the some of these little Wet n Wilds for what, two or three ninety nine at the drugstore. They're really good. That one isn't swatched the best, but I have worn this one and it is quite pretty. And the last of the Wet n Wilds is the Don't Be a Poser. And this one is all pretty shiny. I haven't used it yet. Definitely one that I'd pair with something else. Such good pigmentation on there. When I was at CVS, I saw that they had the new Makeup Academy 10 pan palettes and they were on sale as well. I want to say that they were like 30% off or something like that. Maybe they were 40. I got them on sale in any event. And there are three total. And I've worn, did I wear all three of these? I wore two of them two or three times, but I haven't worn the metallic one just yet, but I've worn these two. This one is the nude eyeshadow palette, and there is one, two, three, four, there's five mattes in here, five, six mattes in here. Pretty good mattes, and I've worn this a couple times already, and oddly enough, there's something about these palettes that really remind me of the By Terry palettes, which there's a huge price difference between the By Terry palettes and these, but there's something about the formulation, also the looks that came out of them, that was um, resembled or reminded me of those By Terry palettes. And I think that these are a good deal, especially if you can get them on sale. There's 10 good colors, another good option um, from the drugstore. I mean, I think these are better than um, both Revlon and Maybelline put together. So 
that one is the nude one. Should I swatch a couple more? Oh wait, I don't know which ones I swatched already. <laughs> and then this one is called the Smoky Eyeshadow Palette, which I've worn this one quite a few times as well. And there's a good matte highlight and two good matte transitions shades. Everything else is kind of satin or shimmery. There's a matte black in there as well. But um, really pretty palette. They're, these ones are all kind of dark. Like I could do a little bit more variation in there, but they're really nicely pigmented eyeshadows. Should I do some of these light ones? Mixed a little bit of dark in there, but <laughs> um, that is the Smoky Eye Palette. The third one is called the Metallic Eyeshadow Palette, and this is the only one that I haven't used, but this one also swatches really nice. Some good colors. This color is really pretty. And... right there so I definitely think these guys are worth checking out from CVS and you can tell CVS usually always has like coupons or some type of deal going on especially I think every time I go in there there's some type of sale on Makeup Academy so I picked up two lipsticks at Walmart as well and Hard Candy came out with a new line of lipsticks they're the Fierce Effects lipstick and they have like a almost Swarovski crystal type packaging it's really pretty and I think these were only four dollars this one's called chalk and pink 1046 and I couldn't pass up this color it is like a lilac it's not full opacity but it's not super sheer either but it's got a nice glossy finish with um I plan on wearing this with like NARS El Agua or Clinique Sky Violet lip liner kind of blended in but I really like that guy and then the other lipstick is one of the Maybelline Color Sensationals which those are my favorite lipsticks from the drugstore. I know some people just can't with the smell, but these are actually one that don't bother me. <laughs> and this is um, limited edition packaging on here, and it's number 100. Or no, it's not. It says 100 on the tube, but it's 805 Purposeful Mauve is what it's called. Right there. And it's like a nudie rose type of color. I thought I was going to be able to haul all this stuff in one video, but it's kind of getting long. <laughs> um, the other stuff that I have, Ulta opened up in my area, and I went in there and I was bad. <laughs> so I'm going to have to save that for um, the next haul video or something, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.